Did you just hear the sound? If you are missing the cinematic sound experience at home, only a big screen would not help. We need to have additional home theater or soundbar to elevate the sound quality. Hello everyone, Merry Christmas to all of you and welcome back to my channel. My name is Swamijit and in this video, I'm going to help you to identify top 5 home theaters. Many of us may have purchased a big size TV. However, due to TV sound quality, you are not satisfied and looking for a home theater to get the theater-like experience at home. Now the question is, which one is better to buy, a home theater or a sound bar? I would make a separate video to explain which is better. However, in a crux, home theater has a dedicated speaker for each side. Hence, surround sound is definitely better than a sound bar. Virtual sound, Dolby Atmos kind of technology can produce surround sound effect from a sound bar. However, it is still not as close as home theater. And the reason is simple. The home theater speaker are physically present to deliver the particular sound from a particular direction. In this video, I have picked up top 5 home theater to choose from, which are not only make your home into a theater, but also you can enjoy listening to music as well. So one investment can solve both the needs. I have mentioned the affiliated links in the description below. If you are liked by one of them, you may use the link, which would in turn get me some commission to run this channel for you. Before I start the video, I would like to make a small request. If you are new to this channel and came here for the first time, request you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to start receiving the notification of my upcoming videos. Also hit the like button if you like the video. So first home theater in my list is Sony HD RT40. This system is for those who is looking for a stylish home theater for their home. It comes with one soundbar, two rear tall boy speakers with 2.5 inch drivers and one subwoofer with 6.5 inch sound driver. Sony provides provides HDMI cable along with the system so you do not have to buy one. If I talk about the sound quality, it provides decent sound, not so heavy but crystal clear sound. I would prefer to listen to music rather than watching movies in this home theater. You need to fiddle with the sound settings initially of the individual speakers. As I have noticed, the tall boy speakers do not provide adequate sound to experience surround sound. But if you increase the volume of the speakers, it somewhat sorts the problem. Bass is not that immersive like other models you're gonna see in this video, but it does the job done well. This home theater supports Dolby Digital Audio. As long as the connectivity is concerned, it comes with one HDMI out with the RC, one optical out, one USB, NFC technology. Next up is Sony BVD E3200 which is a Blu-ray 5.1 home theater. It comes with two 125 watts front speakers which has tweeters and one 250 watts center channel and two 75 watts rear or surround speakers. Since it has tweeter therefore as long as sound clarity there is no question at all. The total output of the speaker system is 1000 watts. It supports DTS HD. Dolby Digital, Dolby Pro Logic, Dolby True HD, Clear Audio Plus, and Football Mode. For those who have Sony TVs at home, you can enjoy using Sony Bravia Sync feature to control your TV through HDMI ARC channel. As long as connectivity is concerned, it comes with one HDMI ARC out, one RCA port, FM, one optical port, one LAN, built in Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC. My overall experience of this home theater is fine. Now, Sony needs to reassess the price as the latest model with the same or better configuration from the competitors are available in the market. But in terms of sound quality, a good looking quartz design subwoofer produces wonderful bass and speakers produces wonderful vocal clarity. Next up in my list is Sony IV300 which is absolutely popular model. It comes with 5 satellite speakers with 2.5 inch drivers, 1 amplifier and 1 7 inch passive subwoofer. The total sound output is 1000 watts. It supports Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Digital Plus and DTS HD audio formats and 4K pass through video format through HDMI ports. This system is for those who like heavy bass. The sound output is too loud that you may not be able to reach to the full volume ever. However, Sony compromised on mid range and high range notes. The satellite speaker could not deliver the wow effect due to the overpower bass. That means you may not find problem listening to the music. However, I found a little less clarity on the dialogue delivery while watching movies. It comes with two HDMI in and one HDMI out with ARC, one USB, Bluetooth, NFC connection, one optical port, one aux and Miracast. Next up in my favorite list is Yamaha YHT 1840. This is the entry level AV receiver. It comes with five satellite speakers with 2.75 inch drivers and one 6.5 
against passive subwoofer. If I talk about the audio format, it supports Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital, Dolby True HD, Virtual Cinema Front. It supports 4K pass through with 60 frames per second, white color gamut, HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision playback. This speaker is for those who do not like heavy bass, but a sound system which can deliver premium sound quality. My recommendation would be to listen to speakers once to any of the Yamaha stores nearby for you. You must be thrilled to hear the absolute clarity of voice and balanced sound. It provides you on-screen display to adjust audio level for each speaker. It has 4 HDMI inputs where each port is compatible with 4K pass-through and 1 HDMI out with ARC. One optical port, one USB port, two SPDIF port, FM, AM tuner, but no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connectivity as of now. Finally, the home theater I absolutely love about which is Logitech Z906. I've been using this model over one year now. I have made multiple sound tests and unboxing videos for this particular model. If you want, you can click on the i button to watch it. This model produces 1000 watt peak and 500 RMS sound output, which is so powerful that I hardly ever used 50% of the volume, 60% of bass. It gets so much sound pressure that you would not even hear anything from the person sitting next to you. Just like the way it happens in an actual theater. This magic happens because of its 8 inch cone front firing active subwoofer and 5 satellite speaker with 3 inch drivers. These speakers undergo rigorous testing and quality checks to get THX certified. The certification gives us the assurance of reliability and sound quality. It actually delivers the sound the way it was recorded in the studio. Therefore, if you are an audiophile or a movie buff, this one speaker can solve both of needs. One bit of information is very important for all of you to know. This is a 10 years old system, hence there is no HDMI, Bluetooth, inbuilt Wi-Fi in this home theater. Still, I have chosen this over multiple famous brands only because of its sweet sound quality and absolute clear voice and a groovy bass. In the box, it has five satellite speakers, one console, one subwoofer, and a pretty long cable to connect the speakers and three AAA batteries. All the cables get connected at the back of your subwoofer. So let's look at the back of it. Here you can see RCA port, SPDIF port, two digital optical ports, a port which looks like a VGA. That port is to connect to the console. Let's talk about the console. It has minimum button to increase volume, bass, individual satellite speaker volume. It comes with three sound effects, 3D, 4.1 and 2.1 and a LED name decode lights up when it gets Dolby Digital signal from your TV. Thank you for watching till here. I have prepared a technical comparison for all the home theaters I have shown you in this video. I hope I was able to help you to get the desired home theater. Please comment below if you have bought one of these and share your experience with us which would motivate me to come back with new videos. Till then take care of yourself. Hit the like and subscribe button to my channel.